PWCC is a great way to sell your sports cards. If you're looking for a way to support the Cajun Cardboard YouTube channel, consider using the promo code CAJUN, all caps, C-A-J-U-N, when you're selling your cards on the PWCC marketplace. Hey guys, Brian with Cajun Cardboard, coming at you from the great state of Louisiana. Mail day number 148. I know I promised you that the mail days were going to slow down. I forgot I had a bunch of cards um, at PSA <laughs> that were being graded. So uh, those have come back in. They've hit me in Baton Rouge. I then ship them up and, uh, and you know, curate them. And, and I put them into my PWCC vault. So there will be some mail days coming up between now and the national. I'm not sure when you're watching this, but it's going to be sometime pre-national. Uh, so there probably won't be much of a break in the action as far as the weekend mail days go. This is mail day number 148. It's a short one. One, two, three, four, five, six cards, two soccer Four Jordans. Let's not waste any time. Let's start with card number one. I'm not going to spend too much time because I know most of you guys are here to look for the Jordan stuff. But this is a uh, another 2020. This is uh, there's probably five or six. I'm trying to remember. Maybe six different uh, Chromium 2020 rookie products featuring uh, my PC, which is Jude Bellingham. Um, uh, gosh, I guess you guys are going to be watching this. They will be deep into the Euros and maybe. Shit, maybe the finish with the Euros. Uh, so we'll see how England does. That will uh, have a huge effect on whether or not this guy you're looking at on your screen wins the Ballon d'Or, which is the World Player of the Year for soccer. He's actually in uh, a fierce competition with his teammate, Vinicius, who's a Brazilian player. So I'm almost hoping Brazil does poor uh, in the Copa America and that England flourishes and Jude specifically flourishes in the Euro. So we'll see how that goes and see if that's the tiebreaker after all. But this is his 2020 finest UCL purple refractor. These are serial number to 250. That's pretty consistent amongst the purples and all the different products. Uh, there's also a finest Bundesliga, but this is the finest UCL with uh, with Jude, serial number 250. Uh, next, we've got a, a big pickup. This is the 1997 Ultra Platinum Medallion. I was actually um, contacted by a great Jordan collector out there and a nice hobby dealer named Derek, Derek Debo on uh, Instagram. You can't miss him. He's a uh, gentleman and a scholar for reaching out to me and saying, hey, Cajun, I know you're chasing those Platinums do you have this one and i did not have this one and you'll see it is number 36 out of 100 this is michael jordan's 1997 ultra platinum medallion number 259 the 98 greats subset platinum medallion uh, there are six platinum medallions out there three base three base <coughs> and three subset the subsets are much uh, less Expensive. We sort of talked about this on a recent Hierarchy Revisited episode with Josh Dawson at Northeast Sports Cards, how the subset Platinum Medallions seem relatively cheap, and the base Platinum Medallions are relatively expensive, <laughs> to be quite honest with you. Uh, this is a card that's prominently featured in Tier 2 of the uh, Michael Jordan Hierarchy, uh, right at the very top. These were all very close to being Tier 1 cards. Probably the base cards more so than the subset Platinums. But again, anytime you pick up a Tier 2 card, throw grade out the window. BGS now is a pretty damn good grade for this card. Um, so I was happy to pick it up at a really fair price in a private deal. Again, uh, my friend Derek reached out to me and said, I'm buying this one. Do you want this one? And it was two uh, Platinum Medallion cards. I think he bought a Kobe and he, he offered me the Jordan. I said, I'll take the Jordan. He said, well, let me just pay for both. You pay me, let me pay the seller for both. He'll ship them both to me because it was in Asia and then I'll ship it to you. And so sure enough, Derek came through. The card recently hit my vault and there it is in all of its uh, splendor. It doesn't look that much different. You gotta go way up here in the top left to see the shimmer on the Ultra up there, you can see. And then of course it's serial numbered on the back. That's the other way you can uh, certainly tell. Edges on this one are a little bit beat up, but that's part of the deal, man, uh, when you're talking about uh, rare Jordan cards like this. That's card number two of the mail day, number 148. Uh, card number three, we're gonna look up in card ladder. This is a big boy. This is, I'm, I'm really excited about picking this card up. Uh, it is also a hierarchy card. The SPX is weird. It's hard to follow. There's a bunch of them. You'll find a bunch of SPX cards 
in the hierarchy project a bunch and this one is a pretty big one it's a min gym which as you know is my sweet spot for grades and price point and uh you know it's i feel like you get the most bang for your buck on bgs 9.5 min gems especially when you're talking about jordan hierarchy stuff this hollow you heroes insert number h1 uh, has a nine for edges 9.5 everywhere else it's got your hologram on one side you can see hollow view heroes running um, left to right bottom to top vertically through there as most spx it is intricately weirdly crazily die cut crazily is that a word i don't know uh and then the back is tough because it's black everywhere and it's got edge issues and those black corners turn white uh this one looks to be a damn clean copy uh, you do have uh, MJ right here uh, wearing his uh, Concord's 11, Concord 11s, which is uh, which is great. Here's the card in card ladder. By the way, I'm terrible at this. Sorry, I'm supposed to do this. I've got five out of six of these platinum medallions. Let's take you through them real quick. I got two base. I got all three subsets. We'll real quick run through them. I got the PSA 8 from 98 Ultra number 85. I've got the uh, PSA 7. Lots of stories about that. You guys know that. I've owned three of these. One fake. One PSA 6 and then this, or one PSA 8 maybe and this PSA 7, I don't know. I can't remember, but I've got the PSA 7 in hand. And you can see that ultra symbol up there is that shimmer on all of these platinum medallions. 96 ultra platinum medallion PSA 9, that's the step it up subset. Uh, and then the ultra effort is a PSA 9 like we just looked at. Um, so there is your uh, platinum medallion ultra effort. Uh, and you got to look real close to see the shimmer down there. Um, and on the uh, on that card it looks just like the base card to be honest with you you can miss it if you're flipping through a dollar box and it, of course the jordan even that jordan base wouldn't be in a dollar box and then the 97 that we saw today so five out of six that's not too bad i've got one more to go it's the biggest one and uh you know it's going to be the most expensive one so uh anyway getting back to our hall of you heroes that's the card that's my card mine is the most recent sale if you search for the card bgs 9.5 i've got it sorted by date sold I felt like I did great. I do buy on Golden. I bought this one on Golden. Uh, $1,343.22 out the door. $1,600 was a sale before that in March. $1,500 was a sale before that in 2022. Uh, and then and before that, you're getting to, this is a BGS 8, not a 9.5. So uh, that's it. That's all you got to work with kind of right there. If we sort by price, uh, you know, it's the third highest price paid, but it's less than the last two comps. So I feel really good. Here's the reason I'm super excited about this card. You guys know I'm a grade snob, and I need this BGS 9.5 Men Gym. There's 11 PSA 10s. There are six 9.5s. That's 17 if you do the Cajun math. That ain't a lot to go around. It's a miserable card to grade. There are not many. It may grow, but it ain't going to grow that much. So to tuck it away and put it in the collection, I was very, very excited. Uh, so that one I can put to bed. Next card, number four on our list. It's a base card. It's a subset base card. Uh, the 97 uh, UD3 Michael Jordan Jam Masters. Um, again, I'm going to keep this one in the collection because it just, it should be an insert. It just should be an insert. It's so cool. It's so simple. It's elegant. He's got the pinstripes on there. It's a great image of MJ. Uh, mouth agape, uh, as they say. Uh, UD3's got some interesting stuff out there. You guys should check that out. And uh, this one will just go into the vault and sit there. It's not a crazy... Um, you know, it's not a crazy valuable card. And again, it's not a hierarchy card, but a cool card nonetheless. Uh, next on the list, who the hell is Per Mertesacker? Who the hell is this, Cajun? We don't watch soccer, but even if we did, no one would know who Per Mertesacker is. Well, he was a humongous, slow-ass tank of a man, defender for Germany. And this is the last card I needed to complete the first year Prism World Cup PSA 10 base set. You think I'm crazy? Check it out. Here they are. 200 out of 200 PSA 10. Everybody you can think of. Neymar, Ronaldo, uh, Messi, Suarez, Sergio Ramos, PK, Iker Casillas. I mean, you can go down the list. Every single card. If you look at the pops of some of these cards, if you scroll quick enough, right? The big guys have plenty of them out there. But check it out. Pop 12, pop 6, pop 7, pop 8, pop 10, pop 11, pop 8, pop 14, uh, pop 8, pop 4, pop 7, pop 13, pop 8, pop 13, pop 4, pop 5, pop 11, pop 3, pop 6. You guys get the point. We're talking about, 
I don't want to say I'm the only one out there. I don't think I'm the only one, but I bet you there ain't more than maybe two or three complete sets out there in the world. It's a tough one to put together because some of the cards you're looking at raw are probably a dollar. So it, it takes work. You got to be industrious. I can't tell you. I sent probably 12 pair of Murta Sacker cards to try to get that last card and I got two tens. So I do have another 10 for sale. Um, you know, it was a fun journey to kind of try to complete this. I bought a partial set and then uh, I was missing maybe 30. And so I went on Com C and bought uh, the eight best looking of every one of those 30 sent all eight times 30, about 200 of these to PSA. Yeah, you can do the math, it's expensive. So I put some money into this set. It's a pretty rare piece, it's not for sale. Uh, I think it's gonna age well. I think there'll be other sets out there. I don't think it's impossible to do. It's just who's got time to go grade, you know, a hundred, 200 cards that are worth a dollar, well not 200, but 150 cards that are worth $2, right? Uh, so it's an interesting um, niche out there. I don't think there'll be too many of these uh, 2014 Prism World Cup base PSA 10 sets. And as you guys know, I'm three away from the uh, the 2014 Prism World Cup autograph uh, set. A lot of those are in PSA 10 as well, but not all. Uh, so getting back, sorry, getting back to our list. Where are we? Here we go. So Merita Sacker, yeah, I got off track with Merita Sacker. He was number 200. Um, I picked this up as a placeholder. It's off center, but the coloring was exceptional and it was uh, relatively cheap. This is the 1996 Finest Michael Jordan Refractor number 50. It is a hierarchy card. It does not have coating, which is what I love. It is very off center, but the coloring is good. It will do for now. I'd like to get into a BGS 9.5 if I could find one of those things. There's not a lot of 9.5s and 10s out there for this card. Um, but um, this one we'll just have to do for now. I've got to highlight my little you know, spreadsheet in orange. I highlight it in yellow if it's gem, right? Because that's like gold, it's at the top. And I highlight it in orange if it's uh, anything other than a BGS 9.5 or a PSA 10 or a BGS 10. So anything less than gem mint, I highlight it in orange. So I got an orange highlight on this one. Hopefully one day I'll switch it over to a yellow highlight. That's it, guys. That's the whole list. A Jude, another Jude rookie. You'll see a lot more Jude coming. I graded a bunch of Jude and I did really, really well with PSA. The Platinum Medallion and the Hall of You Heroes are the two big Jordan pickups. Uh, a base card that just sits in my collection. It's not a hierarchy card, but I'm going to hang on to it because it's PSA 10. It's not that valuable. And uh, the Merida Soccer completes the big uh, soccer set for me. And then the placeholder, Finest Refractor, PSA 8. That's it, guys. That's mail day number 148. Hopefully you guys are uh, enjoying your weekend, sipping some coffee, hanging out with your kids or your family while you're watching this video. Uh, laying out by the pool, catching some rays during the summer. Uh, again, I'm not sure when this releases, but National is got to be right around the corner. It's going to be close to the National. I hope to see all of you guys there. Let me know what you think about these uh, six pickups. Is there anything that catches your eye? Any comments? Did I get anything wrong? And um, thank you guys for watching. As always, keep collecting, stay positive in the hobby, and peace.